San Andreas. Fault wakes up, the big one is coming soon. The San Andreas Fault, stretching over 800 miles across California, is one of the most studied and feared fault lines in the world. Known for producing some of the most destructive earthquakes in history, this geological boundary has long been the subject of intense scientific scrutiny. Recent studies suggest that parts of the fault are waking up, increasing concerns about the potential for the big one, a massive earthquake predicted to reach a magnitude of 7.8 or higher. Today, we're taking a closer look into the San Andreas Fault, its current activity, and the possibility of a catastrophic event that could reshape life in California. Anatomy of the San Andreas Fault The San Andreas Fault serves as the tectonic boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate, making it a key player in California's seismic activity. This massive fault system extends from the Gulf of California in the south to Cape Mendocino in the north. It is not a single continuous crack, but a network of interconnected fractures spanning various segments. These segments behave differently, with some remaining relatively quiet, while others are more active and prone to sudden shifts. Geologists often divide the fault into three main segments, northern, central, and southern. Each segment has its own unique characteristics. The northern segment, which passes near San Francisco, was responsible for the devastating 1906 earthquake. The central portion, known as the creeping section, moves more steadily and is less likely to produce large quakes. The southern segment, however, poses the greatest concern. Running through densely populated areas like Los Angeles and San Bernardino, it has remained locked for over a century storing immense energy that could be released in a catastrophic event. Historical seismic activity along the fault has provided valuable insights into its behavior. The 1857 Fort Tejun earthquake, which affected the southern section, and the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake in the northern segment are stark reminders of the destructive power of this fault line. These events underscore the urgent need to monitor its movements and prepare for the possibility of a major quake in the future. Recent scientific findings. In recent years, researchers have observed unsettling signs that the San Andreas Fault may be gearing up for significant activity. One area of particular interest is the Parkfield segment located in Central California. Often referred to as the earthquake capital of the world, this region has historically followed a predictable pattern of moderate seismic events occurring roughly every 22 years. However, scientists have noted deviations from this cycle, raising concerns that larger, less predictable forces may be at play. Advanced monitoring technologies have been pivotal in detecting these shifts. Seismic sensors, satellite imaging, and machine learning models are revealing subtle changes in the fault's behavior. For instance, creeping sections of the fault, which usually move slowly and release energy harmlessly, have shown signs of unusual strain. This strain could signal the buildup of stress that, if released suddenly, might trigger a larger event. The southern segment of the fault, long regarded as the most dangerous, has drawn heightened scrutiny. Here, scientists are detecting micro-earthquakes and other precursors that suggest the fault is under increasing pressure. While these findings do not provide a specific timeline, they underscore the heightened risk of a major earthquake in the near future. This growing body of evidence serves as a stark reminder that understanding the fault's activity is more critical than ever. The imminence of the big one. The term, the big one, refers to a hypothetical but highly anticipated earthquake that would strike along the southern section of the San Andreas Fault with catastrophic force. Geologists predict such an event could reach a magnitude of 7.8 or higher, unleashing an energy release far beyond what most current infrastructure is designed to withstand. Unlike smaller earthquakes that relieve stress in localized areas, this massive quake would impact a vast region stretching across Southern California and potentially affecting millions of people. The concern surrounding the big one is amplified by the fault's historical patterns. The southern segment of the San Andreas Fault has not experienced a major rupture since the Fort Tejan earthquake of 1857, which registered an estimated magnitude of 7.9. With over 160 years of accumulated strain, this portion of the fault is considered overdue for a significant seismic event. Models suggest that if the stress were released in a single rupture, 
it would have devastating consequences for urban centers like Los Angeles, Riverside, and San Bernardino. Despite ongoing advancements in seismology, pinpointing the exact timing of the big one remains elusive. What is clear, however, is that the risk is not diminishing. Each passing year without significant movement along the fault adds to the energy stored within it, making the eventual earthquake not only inevitable, but potentially more destructive. This looming threat underscores the need for preparedness and continued investment in research and infrastructure to mitigate the impact when the quake finally strikes. Potential consequences of a major earthquake a massive earthquake along the San Andreas Fault would bring widespread devastation, affecting nearly every aspect of life in California. The human toll would be staggering, with thousands of lives potentially lost and tens of thousands injured. High population densities in areas like Los Angeles and the Inland Empire amplify the risks, particularly in older neighborhoods where buildings may not meet modern seismic standards. Hospitals and emergency services would face overwhelming demand, complicating efforts to treat injuries and provide shelter. Infrastructure damage would also be immense. Roads, bridges, and rail systems would suffer severe disruptions, leaving entire regions cut off from essential supplies and emergency aid. Utilities such as water, electricity, and gas lines would likely be destroyed or severely compromised, leaving millions without basic necessities for weeks or even months. Older structures, including schools and public buildings, are especially vulnerable, posing an added threat to safety. The economic impact of such a quake would be felt across the nation. Property damage is estimated to run into hundreds of billions of dollars, while business interruptions and supply chain disruptions would ripple through industries far beyond California. Insurance costs, rebuilding efforts, and lost productivity would strain both public and private resources. Environmental consequences would exacerbate the situation. Fires ignited by ruptured gas lines and downed power lines could spread uncontrollably, especially if water supplies for firefighting are disrupted. Landslides in hilly areas and soil liquefaction in regions with loose, saturated ground could further devastate communities. The combined effects of these consequences highlight the unparalleled challenges posed by a seismic event of this magnitude, preparedness and mitigation efforts. Efforts to prepare for a major earthquake along the San Andreas Fault have become a top priority for state and local authorities, as well as private organizations. California has some of the strictest building codes in the United States designed to minimize damage during earthquakes. Retrofitting older structures such as schools, hospitals, and apartment buildings has been a major focus in recent years. These improvements aim to prevent catastrophic collapses and reduce fatalities when a major quake occurs. Public education campaigns have also played a critical role in preparing communities. Programs like shakeout drills teach residents how to protect themselves during an earthquake and what to do in its aftermath. These initiatives encourage individuals and families to assemble emergency kits, create communication plans, and secure heavy objects in their homes. Schools and workplaces regularly participate in these drills, ensuring widespread awareness and readiness. Technological innovations have further bolstered preparedness efforts. Early warning systems, such as the Shake Alert app, can provide a few seconds to a minute of advance notice before shaking begins. While this may seem brief, even a small amount of warning can save lives by allowing people to take cover or stop vehicles and machinery. Seismic monitoring networks combined with real-time data processing are enhancing the accuracy and speed of these alerts. However, challenges remain. Many communities lack the resources to fully implement preparedness measures, leaving vulnerable populations at greater risk. Infrastructure upgrades, while critical, are expensive and time-consuming and not all at-risk areas have benefited equally. Despite these obstacles, the ongoing focus on education, technology, and infrastructure improvement offers hope that California will be better equipped to withstand the impact of the big one when it inevitably strikes. Long-term strategies for risk reduction. As California faces the inevitability of a major earthquake along the San Andreas Fault, Long-term strategies to reduce risk have taken center stage. These efforts go beyond immediate preparedness and focus on creating a more resilient society capable of withstanding and recovering from such a disaster. A cornerstone of these strategies is improving urban planning, 
Zoning laws now discourage construction in the most seismically active areas, and new developments are increasingly incorporating earthquake-resistant designs. Investment in infrastructure resilience is another critical component. Bridges, highways, and utility networks are being retrofitted with advanced materials and engineering techniques to withstand intense shaking. These upgrades aim to preserve vital transportation and communication lines, ensuring that emergency services can function during and after an earthquake. Public utilities, such as water and power systems, are also receiving attention, with efforts underway to secure pipelines and reinforce key facilities. On a broader scale, California is working to foster a culture of seismic awareness. Statewide policies mandate earthquake drills in schools and workplaces, ensuring that safety protocols are second nature to residents. Meanwhile, advancements in earthquake prediction technologies continue to provide valuable insights. Machine learning models and seismic mapping tools are helping scientists pinpoint areas of highest risk, allowing resources to be allocated more effectively. Despite these proactive measures, the challenges are immense. Population growth and urban sprawl increase exposure to risk, while funding for large-scale infrastructure projects often falls short of what is needed. Addressing these gaps requires sustained collaboration between government agencies, private sectors, and community organizations. By prioritizing these long-term strategies, California is taking steps to minimize the impact of the eventual quake and pave the way for a quicker recovery. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think we'll be able to survive the big one? Let us know in the comments section below.